Welcome to Boss Automotive. 2018 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross First Drive. Mitsubishi brings back the Eclipse name in a Coupe La Q. With the death of the Lancer earlier this year, Mitsubishi, once known for competing head-to-head -head with the best in the world on the rally stage, is attempting to make a new name for itself with SUVs. To that end, the Japanese automaker has revived the Eclipse name and placed it on a compact crossover. To avoid any confusion with the two-door Eclipse models that made appearances in the Fast and the Furious and Too Fast Too Furious, the machine is logically called the Eclipse Cross. Mitsubishi says it wanted to bring the Eclipse name back because it believes the crossover brings a lot of the same characteristics as the old car, coupe styling, technology and a fun-to-drive nature. After all, the current lineup is dominated by affordable, visually distinctive utes. The new Eclipse Cross follows a similar prescription, but it's supposedly sportier. The athleticism starts with a turbocharged 1.5-liter inline-4. Peak output is 152 horsepower at 5,500 revolutions per minute and 184 pounds to foot up to work at 2,000 revolutions per minute, which is more to work than the 2.0 and 2.4 liter engines found in other Mitsubishis, but those still aren't exactly figures to impress the tuning crowd. The gearbox is a continuously variable transmission with the sport mode with 8 gears to roll through if you choose. Standard on most trim levels, Mitsubishi includes an all-wheel drive system called Super All-Wheel Control SAWC. The Bass S trim is front-wheel drive, but SAWC can even be added there for $600. Compared to the Outlander and Outlander Sport, which use the same platform, the Eclipse Cross also has a more sport-tuned suspension. Mitsubishi claims styling will be the Eclipse Cross major selling point, and it's easy to see why. This crossover is one of the more unique offerings on the market. At the front sits the automaker's dynamic shield grill, chiseled LED headlights and square fog lights. While the front is pure Mitsubishi, the side, with its wedge-like profile and pronounced belt line, imitates other sporty coupe-like crossovers. Where the design falls apart, at least for me, is at the back, where shades of Pontiac Asc appear. The stretched rear taillights and top-mounted spoiler are reminiscent of the new Honda CRV, but the light bar running horizontally to everything else looks out of place. Like it or not, it's definitely eye-catching, bystanders cocked their heads in an attempt to get a better look as the Eclipse cross passed by. Those who like the exterior design of the Eclipse will also enjoy what's inside, including the striking center console and 7-inch touchscreen perch atop it. Other available luxuries include a 9-speaker Rockford Bosque audio system, dual-pane panoramic roof, heated leather seats in the front and back, a heated steering wheel and dual-zone automatic climate control. Unfortunately, the bulk of those features are only available in the range-topping cell trim with the optional touring package. That's also the case for many safety features like blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, lane change assist, adaptive cruise control, forward collision mitigation, and lane departure warning. With every option picked, the Eclipse Cross stickers for $31,390, it starts at $24,290. The Execution Mitsubishi handed over keys to a fully loaded, reproduction Eclipse Cross and let me loose on some of Southern California's curviest roads, including Mulholland Highway. Eager to see if Mitsubishi cracked the code on a sporty crossover that lives up to the Eclipse, I headed straight to the twisty stuff and was promptly disappointed. The 1.5-liter turbocharged inline 4 is simply not powerful enough for spirited driving. Furthermore, the engine doesn't like to rev, running out of steam toward the top end of the range, and it emits an irritating droning hum as it tries. While using the CVT's pre-selected 8 gears, up and down shifts are slow. Steering feel is as vague as assembly instructions from IKEA. Even the brakes, while strong, don't provide satisfying pedal feel. Body control, on the other hand, is a high point for the Eclipse Cross, considering its SUV roots. Slowing things down and driving the way most buyers will, I see it's clear the Eclipse Cross is better suited to around town everyday activities. The powertrain is much happier when it's left to its own devices, with the CVT placing the engine into its sweet spot quickly for passing, and providing decent power to handle everyday duties adequately. The same suspension that delivers such good body control in spirited driving also never gets harsh and provides a smooth ride, even over some of California's rough roads. 
The interior is a pleasant place in which to spend time thanks to well-bolstered yet comfy leather seats and a space that rivals a lot of mid-size offerings. One nice feature, the rear seats can move forward and backward 8 inches and have 9 different reclining positions, allowing owners to get the most out of the cargo space. Overall, things feel well built on the inside. That said, it isn't perfect. The touchpad is difficult to use. In the aforementioned horizontal light bar and large headrests limit rear visibility. The verdict. The decision to go cold turkey on sedans, coupes, and hatchbacks has reportedly paid off. Mitsubishi's sales increased 24.8% in November over last year. The goal, with help from the Eclipse Cross, is to sell a total of 150,000 vehicles annually by 2019. That may seem lofty, but the Eclipse Cross delivers everything the majority of consumers want. Ignore any talk of the Eclipse Cross being a sporty crossover and instead focus on its abilities as a daily driver and you won't be disappointed. And for the Eclipse and Lancer fans out there cursing under their breath at Mitsubishi's move to CUVs and SUVs, remember, selling more vehicles like the Eclipse Cross could allow the automaker to return to developing more driver-centric cars. Just don't expect those to come anytime soon. On sale, March 2018. Base price, $24,290. Powertrain, 1.5 liter turbocharged I4, CVT, FWD slash AWD. Output, 152 horsepower at 5,500 revolutions per minute, 184 pounds to foot at 2,000 revolutions per minute. Pros, distinctive good looks, agile in the city. Cons, engine, trans can't cut it during sporty driving, only loaded model has key safety gear, 